and it's done so it just needed to clean off a couple of the staves and screw them on and it was finished um, oh and the spring that I mentioned in the last video uh, I got the pin out at the top which means that uh, you can hook this safely on without it taking somebody's eye out and that means that it now makes very satisfying mechanical chunky noises so press is pretty much done um, I just need to paint some of this celt lac up a little bit higher because the threads are when this screws down the uh, pressure plate hits the basket so it only comes in this far so I might as well get as much uh, kind of crushed apples into that as I possibly can so yes yeah, pretty good I'm happy and uh, there's only one thing that was bothering me and uh, that's the top uh, plate um, there was a gap in it and uh, this was basically held together with, with two large dowels and uh, me being fussy I knew there was going to be dirt inside there so yeah I can just pry them apart and uh, I'm gonna give these a, a deeper clean deeper sanding and then um, I'll get that stuck back together again and then the press is finished um, if it's still bright by the time I finish that we might go and pick some apples actually um, I'm just gonna put the uh, mill back together and uh, maybe another couple of coats of uh, the Keltalac paint on the various bits and uh, yeah done the next time you see the press uh, in a video it might be in use so there we go mill is the next job